Hello, this is Pamela with Pamela's Portrayals, and today we're going to do a uh, photo or a painting of a photo that I took um, of some roses that my husband bought me. And I, what I've done is I, this is the photo, and I took that up on the internet and I got an outline of it, and then I used a pencil and just kind of did a rough sketch outlining the outline. There is another way to do that for those who don't like to go to uh, you know the trouble of doing that and that is using this here is like graphite paper and you can place the shiny side down on your page and then just simply put this on top of it and then trace it with a pencil. So I have already just done a real rough sketch. I didn't do in all of the details, um, but we'll go ahead and, and I'm going to have this out um, so I can see it. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, two different shades of red, about three shades of green. I'm going to use a gray and then kind of a tan brown uh, for the background. I'm going to be using these three brushes. This is a, uh, a flat brush, one and a half inch flat brush. And these are, uh, this is a synthetic brush. These are natural bristles. And um, I've got these two round brushes that I'm going to be using. I have, just in case I might need them, I have a couple of other ones. These are the synthetic ones and these are the natural bristle, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using those. Uh, I may use this one or this one to come in and put some darker areas in, but mostly I'll be using these two brushes. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. For the majority of my painting, I think I'm going to be doing wet onto dry, although to begin with I am going to just wet my entire canvas. I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to get a little bit, I'm going to get some water, I have my water and my paper towel over here, and I'm going to mix some of this yellow ochre with some sepia and then mix that in with the white. And I'm going to put some more water on there. And this is the color I'm going to use for my wall background. And I'm just going to brush that on. Let's see if you can see that. I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on the background. And I'm going to cover all of the background with this. It's looking I've got some paint in there somewhere that's not wanting to come out very well. Okay, so I'm going to just go all around and brush that on. And it's kind of choppy. It's not real smooth. I am going to kind of go in and try to smooth some of that out. But I'm just going right over what I've traced on my page. There are some areas, like I said, that are not getting covered, and that's fine. But this, I don't want this dark line here, so I'm going to get rid of that simply by adding more water to it. I'm going to come down here, get a little bit more of that color. I'm thinking that's kind of hard for you guys to see. I'm not seeing it on my... Let me see if I can adjust the lighting. Might be able to see that a little bit better. And then if I need to add the light as we get more details in, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Because this is a really light color. And I'm just going to come in here. And basically all I'm doing is I'm just painting my background. I'm going to put some of that color right here in the middle. 
and along these lines here. Just smoothing that out a little bit. And now I'm going to go in, and I'm not rinsing my brush because I don't care if the color's left in there. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the Payne's Gray. All right, so I've got my background done, and I just went ahead basically and painted in everything. But I'm not interested that much in the background because my focus is going to be on the roses. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my larger round brush, and I'm going to come in here and get some of this kind of pink right here. Get a little bit more water. And I'm just going to kind of color in here where the roses are. And this one down here. And over here, I've kind of got this really solid over here, and I didn't want it that solid. So I'm going to rinse my brush and dry it off. But I'm going to come back, I think, with one of these smaller brushes, one of these little... And I've just got water on it, and I'm just going to kind of come and get rid of some of that paint make it a little bit lighter and all I'm doing I've just got a, a plain brush going over the wet area to lighten some of these areas up I'm just it just kind of absorbs the paint up if you've got too much paint in one area and you want to just lighten it up Okay. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and start working down here. And I'm going to take kind of uh, the same color. And maybe adding just a little bit of a different color. And I'm going to just come in and I'm going to put this color in. I'm going to come back with some of this more pink color and I'm going to kind of drop that in right around the edges here Let that kind of bleed in here to this 
other area. While this is still wet, I'm going to switch brushes and clean that one off. And I'm going to go with my smaller brush and I'm just going to kind of put in um, some of the green for the stems. So we've got this green here coming in. And then we've got this one. And I'll just I'm not sure why I drew anything because I can't see any of my lines. So <laughs> we're just kind of winging it. And now I'm going to let this kind of dry here a little bit. I think I might come in and just kind of pull some of this area around like this. This is a clean brush. And I'm just kind of taking some of that water away, show my rim here. Got a little more water on that than I wanted, so I'm going to come back and just kind of dry that. Makes that area really white, but I don't want it bleeding. And then I will just come back in and just kind of touch this area up here. Right, now we're going to work on some of the stems and I'm going to take my smaller brush and uh, some of the, the leaves and stuff out there and let's see what colors do I want. We're going to, whenever you're doing watercolor you start with the lighter colors and then work into the darker. So I'm just going to put, we've got some different foliage back here. And I'm going to kind of go in with this medium green color. We've got some leaves hanging down there. And we've got some over here. Go ahead and put one in here. Oops, I didn't want the red but we'll just mix it in with this green. And let's see, let's do some of these leaves up here. We don't want the leaves to all be the same shade. And we're just basically putting on a base coat right now. Just kind of going to figure out where our leaves are. And I'm going to use this medium green and we'll put some more leaves around here. And I am using the wet on dry technique right now because I'm putting wet paint on dry paper. I'm 
we get some more of this lighter color here. Kind of actually maybe a warmer color. And yeah, I'm, I realize that I, I, <laughs> I drew all this in and now I'm not really going by my lines because I can't see them. And not because of putting the paint over them. I realized that when I traced them on, I didn't get it on very dark. Okay. And we've got a leaf coming up right here and I didn't draw that one on at all. I missed a lot when I was drawing this in. And that's simply because I I just didn't I used the um, a different method than what I told you. So, um, use one of the methods that I told you. It's like one of those things of, you know, don't do as I do, do as I say. And you'll have better, better luck. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and paint these in. And it won't look exactly like the, um, the photo because I, I didn't draw it that way. So, all right. Now I'm going to be um, I'm going to go back over and add some darker green on some of these leaves because we need some contrast. So I'm going to add some darker leaves. I like this warm green. I really like that color. So I'm just going to come back and put that in some spots too. And then maybe mix some of this dark green like underneath this leaf here and let that Kind of absorb up into the other one. And we'll soften it out there a little bit. Okay. So this is not a realistic painting. This is just kind of a little abstract painting that we're doing. I just wanted something that was going to be a little bit fun. Not too hard to do. Because as you can see, I'm just I'm just kind of putting paint in different areas, but I'm using different shades of of the colors to give me some depth. Let's have this little leaf come out here. Let's color this one in a little deeper. Okay, I'm going to come back down here because you almost can't see my stems. So I'm going to kind of just very lightly kind of put those back in. I don't want it too dark, but I do want you to be able to see them. 
So I've done that. And then this here, down here, around this, this bled a little more than I wanted it to. So let's kind of touch that up a little bit. Make this a little bit darker. And then I'm going to put some darker ones. If you're going to put something that dark in, you want to kind of put it in other places too. You don't want it in just one spot. So let's go ahead and put those in some other areas. I think I feel like I need something right there. Soften that up. And let's put some little darker color here. Maybe something a little darker here. Now up here we had this leaf bled into my, my rose. So we'll we'll work on that in a minute. Just gonna put some darker color right there. And maybe even pull a little of that darker color down into here. A couple of spots. I'm going to go back up in here with my wet paper towel. Okay, let's go in now. I'm with my smaller brush. I'm going to go and use this darker red color and We're going to go in and just kind of start putting in some some darker areas. Just kind of give our rose some shape. You don't have to cover the whole thing. I'm just putting it and then kind of smoothing it out in some spots so it's not so choppy looking. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. We've got a really dark center um, and then just some, some different lines. And those are all pretty hard lines, so I'm rinsing my brush out and I'm going to come back in and soften those up with just some plain water. Now I'm working wet on dry, and if you've got a lot of paint on your brush and then you come in 
on a dry area, that's the look you're going to get. You're going to get those sharp lines. If you don't want that, um, you should have your paint thinner. Um, in, in other words, more liquid when you put it on. Or you can go back like I'm doing now and just kind of soften up everything with a wet brush. Still leave some of the sharp lines in there. Okay, now we're going to do that top one. And we've got some really a dark area here. And some dark areas around here. Pull that up, make this area a little bit darker. And then again, I'm going to just come back with a clean brush, but wet, a little damp, and just soften those areas up. some more dark areas over here some darker color down here. Let that kind of bleed up into the rest of the flower. All right, so I'm looking at it now. It doesn't look bad, but I'm thinking I, this area here, I need maybe some more green. I clean my brush. I'm coming back in, and I'm going to get a more definitive little leaves in some of these spots. Some of it you want it just to be kind of flowy, but others you want, you know, you, you do need to tell that it's leaves and not just like something. And I'm going to put maybe another little leaf there. Fill in this leaf a little bit more. Oh, I'm letting this dry. And I'm going to come back and I think I, I just want to kind of touch up some stuff on this flower a little bit. Had to let it dry a little bit because it's still pretty wet. I want to give you a, an idea of the shape of this a little more. I think I'm actually going to come back while this is still a little bit wet. I've got my paper towel and I'm just going to pull some of this out. And kind of reshape it a little bit. So it's more There you go. go. I like that a little bit better. Put a 
little bit dark back there. Still thinking that one at the top is just too dark. So let's go in and try to pull some of that darker color off. As long as your paint is wet, and even, even if it dries with watercolor, a lot of times you can go back in and change it, the look so it looks more like what you want it to. I'll just say that little... I'm going to kind of go in and darken a little bit of these, some of these areas that I pulled the paint off of. And I just need to darken that middle a little bit more because you can't see where the middle is. There we go. Okay. Now, there's more that we could do with this, but I think I'm going to call it done. Um, we could go in and perhaps go along this here and give it a little bit more um, shadow right along this area. And again, I put that in with um, a lot of heavy paint. I'm going back over it now with just a wet brush. And I'm going to pull that down into here, just kind of soften all that up a little bit. And pull it up a little bit too, because that's kind of right there, it's underneath the lip of the little jar. Maybe just a little bit more down here on the bottom. And just soften around that edge there a little bit. And then maybe even a little bit in here. Then again with the clean brush, come back and just lighten that up a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to make those a little bit darker now that I've kind of gone over it a little bit. And I'm just lightly putting in some color. I don't want it to stand out too much, but I am darkening it up just a little bit.
So I hope that you enjoyed this painting tutorial and you'll and join me again sometime. Thank you.